Many ways were expressed to celebrate the beginning of the year of the rabbit across Indonesia, including in Surakarta and Pati, Central Java. In Surakarta, Lunar New Year this year, we began with a joyful party at the city hall. Fireworks show, dances, and many more attractions. Celebrations were held from the city hall to Pasar Gede Market, decorated with lanterns and 12 signs in the Chinese calendar. The area is decorated like Chinatown. Students and teachers from elementary to senior high school in Surakarta participated by performing lion dance, locally known as the Leong Dance, and to express the spirit of tolerance through the dance. Meanwhile, in Pati, also Central Java, Lunar New Year, a popular Chinese New Year, celebrated the cultural parade organized by Hoktik Bio Temple. Various attractions showcased in the parade, including lion dance and marching band. Visitors braved a sub-zero temperature to visit temple fairs in Beijing Monday, celebrating the second day of the week-long Chinese Lunar New Year holiday. Crowds flocked to Yuan Ming Yuan Park in the outskirts of Beijing, visiting traditional food stalls with lamb and octopus skewers, along with game stalls and other festivities. While a handful of smaller fairs resumed in Beijing suburbs, the famously large fairs in central Beijing remained shut. Despite the government easing its stringent zero-COVID policies in December, as concerns over COVID remain, each year the Chinese zodiac is believed to bear the characteristics of its namesake animal. With this year's the year of the rabbit, considered one of the calm and contemplation. Meanwhile, North Koreans get a holiday for the Lunar New Year, but for outsiders, it's difficult to see the traditions that Koreans everywhere share. This Lunar New Year marks three years since North Korea starts shutting its borders against COVID. It was only in 2022 that North Korea acknowledged the presence of COVID and then, within a few months, quickly claimed victory over the virus. Even so, people still have to wear face masks during any Chinese New Year activities and still, North Korea is yet to reopen for any kind of international travel.